هاي فور وان بروفيسور محمد شرف ذيو او موديل تودي اتس اباوت فوتو فولتيك هوريزونتال اكس ويند تربين فور ريفيسيوس موزس اوكي فيرست اوف اول after you download your model uh, take your uh, model folder to your main uh, working folder okay and then open your matlab and you have to go from here suppose it's on drive d e or whatever go to your drive from this uh, from this uh, link browser you can go from here okay uh, from this is your destination folder open it from here and go to your work working folder your models okay you will find your uh, model okay okay click on it your model should uh, model contents will appear here so you have to go here and sort by name and group by type in order to uh, archive or organize your uh, uh, model okay let's go for uh, our model okay double click on it you will find this model okay okay what we have here um, it's sim simple uh, model we have reverse osmosis device with uh, three main uh, 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 configurations uh, basic module and uh, built to wheel drive module and uh, uh, a pressure exchanger model and we have a uh, photovoltaic uh, horizontal axe wind turbine and uh, batteries okay let's go inside and see our model this is our model actually if you download this model you will find uh, two models this is dynamic modeling uh, i made uh, i made it dynamic by using signal builder in order to uh, change your operative conditions and so on uh, we will demonstrate this Okay, but first we have to go for a uh, regular uh, model. Uh, for horizontal axial turbine, first of all, you have to assign your, uh, as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, uh, this is uh, 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 analysis block. It's for load variation between two models. Suppose I'm going for versus Moses, okay, and double clicking here. Okay, we have to, uh, uh, we demonstrated this many times before, but I, I am going for this in order to show you how to uh, briefly use it. Okay, you have to refer to yourself to uh, another uh, uh, a video about uh, reverse osmosis. Suppose I am going to use a uh, basic configuration, okay, and uh, salinity, you can assign some um, operating conditions. See water temperature, salinity, uh, gradients or contents in your um, uh, water. Uh, suppose it's around uh, 35 or 45 uh, thousand BBN. Okay. And what is your productivity? I, I will start myself. I suppose it's moderate or uh, medium large, medium capacity, medium large, uh, 3,500 uh, meter cube per day okay you can change the limits i mean you can go from here okay and right click here okay and go for uh, mask edit mask or mask parameters suppose you have to go to your mask parameters uh, i'm sorry this is your mask you can go for edit mask or control them and you'll find going for this is these are your parameters for productivity okay you will find productivity here plant productivity so you can change your limits suppose it's from zero up to fifty thousands i will make it at uh, twenty thousands uh, okay a meter cube uh, or cubic meters per day and you can change the limits of any model any parameters or you can add parameters if you would like Okay, so um, this is uh, the, uh, the limit has changed. I have to go here, okay. And we can, for seawater, uh, you can select your membrane type. I will recommend this one, uh, th uh, 380. 
the type for seawater, high recovery ratio, and number of uh, elements per vessel. It's around from seven up to eight. A number of uh, pressure vessels. Um, I think for you can um, make a trial and error. You can run and see uh, uh, what is your limitation because you have to. Uh, first of all, I have to set this at zero. Okay. If you go here, as you can see, this is wind farm, photovoltaic system, spirator control room, and and we have here uh, reverse osmosis. So for basic module, you have to watch just the pressure. The pressure shouldn't be exceed over, uh, or should be exceeded over. Uh, um, 80 bars, 8,000 kilopascal, or uh, or it should be lower than uh, 40, 45, 50 uh, bars. Okay, so if you are a little bit confusing, confused about what is my uh, number of uh, pressure vessels. Okay, sit a random a random number. So it's around. Is it uh, three thousand five hundred? Make it thirty five. Okay, thirty five. Okay, as a random, and recovery ratio. I think it's thirty thirty five. Okay. Okay, and the high pressure bomb efficiency, uh, fouling factor. Um, uh, this is this this part is for petroleum turbine. And this this is this part for pressure exchanger i will keep this okay let's go for uh we, we are going to make a, a click on reverse smooth basic module and let's make our first run in order to see uh, our results uh, okay pressure difference delta b okay okay it's around uh, uh, 74 bars 74 bars so I have to return back again here and double clicking and uh, I have to increase the number of pressure vessels a little bit let it be uh, 40 uh, if you increased the number of pressure vessels your pressure will uh, uh, drop down okay okay yes okay this is my favorite number it's 68 I, it is not my my favorite number uh, personally i mean this is a recommended uh, uh number for pressure it's around 69 68 let's increase another one uh, 41 it's for going for 41 and see okay so, so should be 65 68 uh, I, I, I am going to increase it again another one uh, 43 uh, pressure vessels okay this is this model is design model so you have to optimize your okay so, so we reduced our pressure so we will stuck ourselves on this uh, uh, power range Okay, let's hit back again. So we we uh, already uh, assigned operating conditions for vertex Moses. Let's go for uh, control room. Um, manually, if you you can change uh, the loop power between uh, between your uh, uh, hybrid models, photovoltaic or. Uh, uh, photo uh, or horizontal actual turbine okay if you assign this value uh, at zero so you are going for fully uh, op operational conditions for horizontal x wind turbine if you assign this at one so this means that we are going for fully uh, photovoltaic uh, running okay so I will change this uh, dynamic and see the effect uh, on your cycle. Membrane replacement uh, purchase cost, I think it's uh, around 15%. Uh, plant load factors, 85. Um, plant lifetime, 25 years. Interest rate, 5%. Uh, 
for direct capital cost, I think for sea water with large, medium, large capacities, uh, the uh, direct capital cost it's around one thousand uh, US dollar per uh, one thousand productivity. Specifically about cost, uh, chemical cost, membrane precious. Uh, I will keep all of these things. Okay. Uh, okay. Suppose it's uh, fifty percent. So I will distribute the load between uh, uh, fifty fifty between photovoltaic and horizontal actual turbine and see uh, what is our results but first of all you have to do something in order to extract your outputs you have to go here okay now i'm sorry this is a um, configurations no you have to go here model x roller and going for photovoltaic wind farm photo your units are stored here so suppose i'm going for horizontal actual wind turbine and suppose i'm this, these are your outputs so you have to go into description and save your final value to your workspace so your final value we store here as you can see areas results and so on power okay so you can deal with it you can plot it you can do anything you would like okay turn back again and um, uh, okay let's go for horizontal uh, and another thing another thing to extract your data is to signal builder it's quite interesting quite interesting model so you have to be, go here and you have to click on any stream but you have to name this stream your stream you have to name it first and double clicking and check stream signals okay be sure that this is small square uh, 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 signal is checked you have to do this for all st important streams all my important streams are sent uh, to uh, signal builder here so i can um, is a signal inspector i'm sorry signal inspector so i can inspect my results as you can see here especially in dynamic modeling so you will find your results here okay uh, total area your results okay we, you so you can send your result to the figure you can deal with it i will delete all okay to begin from uh, scratch okay Let's go for uh, horizontal axe wind turbine. We have to assign some, uh, what is the air temperature, or pressure, and uh, module power. It's, uh, the beginning is from uh, 0.5 kilowatts up to 8,000 uh, 8, kilowatts. So suppose I'm, I need to work on um, uh, module type uh, such as uh, uh, 80 kilowatts. I need just 80 kilowatts so you can uh, you can assign this 80 kilowatts and hit OK. For uh, photovoltaic selection, we have two types of photovoltaics. Your data is for solar radiation is what per meter square or kilowatt hour per meter square. Suppose I'm going for uh, uh, what per meter square, quite uh, famous. And let's go for, uh, if you click on photovoltaic, you will find uh, your selection is here. So this is what per meter square, double clicking on it, you will find open this menu. So we can assign some uh, outputs. What is your operating hours? Suppose it's eight hours, okay. Uh, uh, what is your solar radiation in what per meter square? Suppose it's, um, you can change this dynamically. Suppose it's, you are running it in dynamic mode, you can change the slider and see your effect. Uh, so, um, in uh, so what is your solar flux? I will make it 1000 for photovoltaic. Okay. Uh, number of cloud this, this parameters for batteries. Uh, what your module type? Uh, I think it's uh, 280 module type polycrystalline and uh, battery depth of charge, battery voltage, performance of the battery and cost of your battery. You can uh, change this based on your design. Okay. 
let's hit back again so we uh, our model is ready set your simulation time into zero and save your model okay and going here and let's type clear and clc okay we are ready uh, ready for um, running our model okay let's sit around and see our result based on a specific point uh, data results okay and this is in zero time this is a design model so my our expectations or my expectation is to uh, find out what is your area what is your flow rate what is your salient gradients and so on okay let's go inside the uh, horizontal axial turbine what we have here uh, you can discover your uh, air mass flow rate rotor swept area okay and axial force torque wind power and this is power coefficient you this is your uh, efficiency of your um, module type this is uh, uh, around 40, uh, 0 0.8 uh, i'm sorry 0 0.2 uh, 9, 0 0.19 0 0.2 okay it's, if you increase this up to um, uh, 0 0.4 it will quite be interesting we are going to use number of horizontal wind turbine 6.5 so i have to change this I have to go here for uh, mass operation going to a floor I think this floor yes and uh, I have to, so I need to remove this one uh, formatting okay and make it a little bit small size and I'll choose seal okay and going here put it here so if i run this model i will discover uh it's, it will be uh, seven uh, 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 units we need seven units for uh, the low power on reverse osmosis let's go for, for uh, okay uh, what is your power we have to go first i'm sorry you have to go to your uh, uh, this is your reverse osmosis basic module filter will drive okay amperature exchanger refer yourself to our previous videos in order to show to, to know what about this okay let's go for basic and these are our results okay for uh, 3500 um, uh, cubic meters per day this is our specific bar consumption and this is pressure in kilopascal or 67 bar and this is power this is your total power load on photovoltaic or horizontal wind turbine or both okay and, and this is our feed uh, flow rate we need we will consume around 468 meter cube per hour as a, a feed uh, total feed for uh, uh, the plant from the seawater this is seawater feed oh, and this is a brine loss your brine loss is around 340 uh, cubic meter per hour okay this is the salinity blue down this is your salinity blue down the salt concentration blue down is around 64 and this is your salinity uh, for fresh water fresh water salinity distillate ex distillate salinity uh, for I have to remove this because it's warning here you have to remove this from the signal semicolon or colon you have to remove this okay okay uh, so this is your selling it's around you are selling water with a 255 uh, bpm of as a fresh water quite good uh, this is your average salinity uh, specific anthropic production okay and uh, this is total exergy destruction rate okay and this is exergy of your feed okay and this is exergy of your brine stream and exergy of the feed of the district i'm sorry of the district and this is uh, salt reduction uh, concentration okay 
so these are our results you can double clicking here and this is your code so you can change you can add uh, some uh, this is your input and these are your outputs so you can change here something okay if you if you would like but be careful to save another copy of uh, your model okay okay for 1000 or 1 megawatt this is 1 megawatt we need uh, seven uh seven units of horizontal axial turbine with direct costs around 9.3 uh, exponential five okay and uh, this is spacing in your uh, in one direction is spacing in y direction this is total field area of your uh, okay so this is our starting wind speed and this is should be average wind speed this this is for i'm sorry this is for 80 kilowatt module this is 80 kilowatt module suppose i need um uh, 500 module 500 so well, we're going to use just the two units let's go here or three units let's go inside here and uh, let's go here okay and hit run and watching our results okay so the bulk coefficient is decreased so i let's go here and I, I am using 10 kilowatts just 10 kilowatts and see uh, my results going here for horizontal oh, okay let's hit run okay it's increased again so I think this is so we have to use 50 53 um, my units and surely the total uh, total cost is increased as you can change your results from here okay okay and this is uh, the turbine cost this is your turbine cost for one unit uh, it will cost you around this a rotor speed hub height and uh, rotor diameter average wind speed okay starting uh, wind speed okay let's go for photovoltaic system what per meter square okay this these are our results uh, for uh, 280 module power this is your open circuit voltage short circuit current maximum voltage uh, maximum uh, current number of modules uh, cell area and you have here module area per the system okay this is your total system area for uh, 500 kilowatt because we assigned our uh, if it's 50 50 okay between horizontal wind turbine and uh, uh, photovoltaic so let's go for uh, uh, okay this is the load on photovoltaic is 500 and the load on uh, horizontal axis 500 because it's one uh, one uh, thousand uh, kilowatt. Uh, okay, this is our area. Your battery storage and uh, uh, battery ampere hour, number of batteries, uh, total costs, and you can discover some. Uh, uh, what is your module dimension? Module uh, per module uh, for FOB price per module. It's around one point four. US dollar per watt per module and some efficiency, module efficiency, cell efficiency, a number of cells per each uh, module because it's a design model, so you are discovering your results. Let's go here and um, okay, this is for cost analysis. Okay, this is for cost analysis, aromatization factor. Uh, Aromatization factor, membrane costs, this is your membrane costs, annual replacement costs, uh, annual fixed charge, uh, chemical, labor, annual, if this is for horizontal, okay, and annual photovoltaics, and this is total annual cost, and this is your um, total water price. 
is very important. You have to sell your product by 0.7, nearly 6, US dollar per one uh, cubic meter uh, for of fresh water, okay? Okay, suppose you have to change some, um, in, in uh, I, I will make this another video for this one. For dynamic mo model, based on your signal builder, I will make another video for this. Let's head back for, because this is part one. Uh, let's change our uh, simulation time into infinity. And uh, I will change the power load. Let's say change some a, a power load or some parameters. Okay, uh, suppose it's around, it's, I will begin from zero. Okay, hit apply. Okay, I will distribute the load between uh, 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 two units, uh, between um, two plants, horizontal and PV. And let's hit run. Okay, I'm, I'm just, uh, I will prepare, uh, I, I have to remove this one, okay, and uh, let's open this one also, okay, let's hit run and see our results in, within time domain, okay, I will change, I will change the load between, let's hit change, increasing the load on, uh, Photovoltaic reducing the load on horizontal actuator turbine. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm increasing. Okay, as you can see here, load is change. Is changing. Let's go for. Uh, uh, let's increase uh, productivity. Let's increasing our productivity up to. Uh, five five thousand let's increase you have to increase your uh, pressure of vessels okay let's increase again Incre let's increase up to uh, eight thousand or ten thousand uh, uh, fresh water cu um, uh, cubic meter per day uh, okay I'm increasing up to uh, ten thousands okay um, let's increase our uh, pressure exchanger up to 100. Okay, this is enough. You can change uh, uh, many, many parameters, solar radiation, whatever. It, it, this is just an example. Let's go here and see from uh, signal, data inspector, and see our results. And you can compare runs. You can make a run and extract your results and make another run and draw two runs on the same figure. Uh, let's go here and try to increase number of uh, figures. Okay, um, this is I think a specific part called some yes, total membrane area. Okay, specific bar consumption, fluctuating up and down because the load and um, total exergy rate, and we can put exergy feed exergy and brine exergy on the same figure. And, uh, and this is a pressure pressure fluctuating the pressure fluctuating is a, has a massive effect on specific bulk consumption and power and this is your power okay and uh, feed flow rate uh, brine flow rate and salinity of the brine I think this we have to format this from here uh, I think it's uh, from 60 Okay, to 65, uh, make it uh, 64, uh, 64 to 65, okay, uh, okay, Z make this uh, 64.5, 64.5, okay, there's a bright salinity, I have to realize this, average salinity, okay, let's go for uh this is power and and this is a uh, cell efficiency mule efficiency uh okay power load on horizontal axle turbine and this is your power load on 
of uh, on photovoltaic as you can see okay this is uh, on horizontal actual turbine this is your power load okay as you can see here increasing and decreasing as you can see if because we changed um, we we make it uh, zero for photovoltaic and one for horizontal and uh, and the, the rest is the effect of productivity uh, change and let's go for uh, total system area number of now this is your number of modules uh, i think the number of batteries i think i have to yes from here uh, and i think i have total system area for photovoltaic this is your total system area battery storage uh, battery and our total cost for photovoltaic okay and um, i think number of uh, number of wind turbine uh, unit product cost here this is your unit product cost uh, this is the water price uh, annual uh, total costs annual replacement costs you can put all uh, on the same figure membranes costs okay and i'm searching for number of uh, horizontal what is the name of this and i have to go here uh, uh, because you have to i uh, forget to send um, uh, horizontal actual turbine data to you to your uh, data inspector so you have to uh, you have to for example you have to click here and double clicking and write air uh, horizontal wind turbine air flow rate and kilogram per seconds okay let's move to the left a little bit okay and emphasize and you have to do the same for uh, for example, costs of the horizontal wind turbine, uh, number of, uh, okay, this is your number, uh, double clicking here, and uh, uh, we can write number of uh, horizontal wind turbine, number, it's a number, oh, okay. okay uh finally i would like to um i will make another video about uh, how to use um, dynamic system uh, this is manual dynamic system i mean you can change you can uh, by manually you can distribute the load between uh, uh, photovoltaic or horizontal axial turbine Therefore, uh, I will make a part two. It's around uh, the, how to use signal builder and how to run this dynamically with, you, with respect to time domain. And uh, you will discover uh, more useful things about uh, about uh, such matters. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our models. Let's Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.